Just doing a quick tire rotation. It's been 5,000 miles. A good idea to do it. Everything here looks amazing. Yeah, uh, and as you guys remember, I greased it up. I had a bunch of stuff apart here and I was cleaning a bunch of things. So everything is looking good. Yeah, there's some sand here, doesn't matter, but there's still a huge film of protection here that protects everything uh, from rusting on this car. So everything is amazing. Brakes are amazing as well. Awesome. Same thing with the rear suspension. There's no, the bearing is good. As you guys remember, two years ago I replaced this bearing. Okay, so everything is good on this bearing. There's no play. Yeah, this tire is gonna go to the front and this one's gonna go right here. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is gonna be an amazing day of me working on this amazing Mercedes 190E. That's my daily driver at the moment, and I have to change the tie rods on it. And I decided to change all four tie rods, two inners and two outer tie rods, uh, because one of them is actually bad, has play, and I've never changed tie rods on this car. Uh, so I just decided to change everything uh, at the same time. So these are the tie rods I got from pelicanparts.com. And... Uh, basically what i did already i kind of prepped them and i had all four boots as you guys know i always take all these boots off and add a bunch of more grease uh, to them and reinstall the boots that's what i did to all four of these tie rods that way they will last a lot a lot longer and uh, uh yeah other than that i'm ready to install them and uh, super excited other than that like the suspension of this car is amazing actually there's no play everything uh, it's been taken care of before uh, as far as the suspension and all that. So that's good. The only thing is the steering system wasn't really taken care of. So I'm doing that. And as you guys remember, I uh, replaced the idler arm uh, already a while back. So yeah, let's go ahead and change these. Here's one set of tie rods, and these ones are actually still okay. Yeah, believe it or not, they're still good. And this one's a little bent because I was using that puller, but they're still good. However, the one on that side, the inner one, is bad. So I just decided to change all of them at the same time. What I also like to do is I used I like to put some copper paste right here on these threads and the shaft. Uh, that way it will be a lot easier in the future to take them off if needed. All right, so I measured the old uh, tie rod and uh, also, you know, put it as close to this, you know, to the old one as possible. And yeah, everything here is lubricated, all the threads with the grease, so if nothing will ever seize. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And don't forget about the safety glass, especially if you're going under the car, because all of that dirt and everything is just gonna keep falling into your eyes. So remember that. Now, here's a quick tip. If the tie rod or the shaft is spinning together with a nut, just put pressure on it. And then you use your ratchet to install the tie rod. Uh, or if that still doesn't work, then you can put a jack, jack up this uh, uh, tie rod right here a little bit. Just put pressure on it, and that way the nut will not be spinning uh, together with the shaft. I also like to coat the boots with silicone paste. That way the silicone paste will keep it preserved. And also I put the copper paste on the nut and shaft right there just so it just stays. Just protect to protect it from rust, basically. Nothing really else. All right, now this side is jacked up. And on this side, you probably won't, can show you probably. Well, there's a plate. When I was doing the tie rod rotation, I noticed play from the tie rod. That's not good. All 
right now i have this puller and i like using the puller i mean you could hammer the knuckle or you can use the pickle fork but lately i've been using the puller and i actually i'm really happy this doesn't disturb anything and it's super easy to use really just tighten it until it pops there you go this one's actually pretty easy Pop right out, you see? So yeah, that's why I'm telling you, put some grease right here every time you install new ones back. And it's gonna be easy to uh, remove them next time if you ever need to, like that. All right, so I just took out this side uh, tie rod assembly. Uh, and the one that's actually bad is this one, like, it's super bad it's not like crazy bad but it has it has play and what i figured out is this is actually like either it looks like original mercedes part which is crazy because the rest of the tie rods they were replaced like this is miley for example on that side both of the tires were replaced i'm just wondering if this tie rod maybe you know at some point just got replaced with mercedes part long time long long time ago you know or something else i don't know but this is the one that's different from the rest of the tie rods, and this one is bad. So, I don't know. Maybe it's original from 1991. It's it's really hard to say. The car has 255,000 miles as of right now. It's pretty amazing, though. 